Hello, my name is Rafa Seif and in this learning object I'm going to explain how to express comparison and contrast in English with a special emphasis in technical English. These are the contents of the object. We will uh, deal with some comparative structures of inferiority, equality and superiority, including comparative and superlative adjectives. We will move on then to some typical contrast structures in English and we will finish with a summary of the expressions. The objectives of this object is to learn how to express comparison and contrast in English with the most typical expressions and to learn how to use comparative and superlative adjectives in English. Normally when we compare two things we examine the similarities and differences between two or more objects and products and it is important to mention the aspect we are comparing. Here we have the five typical possibilities in English. We have as regards, size for example, with regard to size, as far as size is concerned, with respect to size or regarding size. It is important to, to not to mix them up because these are the five most common or the most widely used uh, expressions to say the parameter we are uh, comparing. For example, we can say we compare uh, x with O2, y, as regards size, etc. And when we're, talk, we're talking about similarities, we can use different expressions. Normally, as, as, or identical to, similar to, the same as, or like, hmm? as we will see in a minute. Another possibilities are with the verb resemble or like or to have in common, as we can see here. It is important to note that when we are using as plus as, in the middle we use a, an adjective. If we're using a noun, that's important to note. Um, and we make a difference between much for uncountable nouns or many for countable nouns. So, to express inferiority in English, we use less plus the adjective plus than or not so as plus the adjective plus as. Remember to use the right particle, than or as. Here we have examples. The front door is less wide than the rear exit. Economy seats are not as comfortable as business ones. Or this aircraft is not so reliable as the Concorde. When we are talking about equality, as I said, we normally use as, the adjective as as. And if in the middle of as and as we use a noun, it must, we must include much with uncountable or many with countable nouns. Or we can also use the expression the same something as, and as is the particle, no that or that. Here we have mm, typical examples. European aircraft are as efficient as American ones. The upper deck has as much capacity as the lower deck. Uncountable now. Partition A offers as many seats as partition B. In this case, we have a countable noun. Boeing has approximately the same revenue as Airbus. The most difficult comparative structures are those of superiority and here we make a typical um, difference taking into account the, uh, the rule between short adjectives and longer adjectives. For short adjectives we use the suffix er than. The concord was higher than the Boeing 747. For longer adjectives we use the word more than. This equipment is more expensive than usual. For superlatives, when we use a superlative, we, are, if we say that one product or object has the highest level of a property in a group. We also differentiate between short adjectives, in which case we use the plus the suffix est, or longer adjectives with the most plus the adjective plus in or off. The examples here are clear as well. The Concorde has the fastest short adjective commercial aircraft in the world. Or for longer adjectives, this is the most expensive material 
of the aircraft. We must remember some uh, irregular comparative adjectives. These are the most typical, typical ones in English. Good, bad, far, old, much, many, or little. The first column in black is the comparative, the irregular comparative. And the second one is the irregular superlative, with the normally. Uh, between older and elder, there's a difference. Older is the general adjective, and elder is normally restricted to um, age of people, for example. Now we're going to move on to some typical contrast structures in English. In example one, we have um, the comparison between A and B, in this case iron and plastic, we mention iron and then we mention plastic and we say the thing we are comparing with regarding, as regards, etc. We can compare iron and plastic regarding toughness. When we mention two things we are comparing, we refer to the first one we mention with the former and the second one we mention with the latter, not the later, the latter. The former is much tougher than the latter. We can also use expression with in. My house is different from yours in size or in that mine is smaller than yours. Note that uh, in is followed by a noun, in that is followed by a sentence. We can use expression with unlike. Wood, unlike stainless steel, can be corroded easily. Here we have a collection of very typical contrasting structures in English. For example, when we make a, um, a quantity a comparison, we can use examples A and B. Twice or half as big as, eh? in Spanish it would be el doble de grande o la mitad de grande que. Eh? The house is, as, is half as big as the cottage or double and uh, twice as big as the cottage, sorry. Example two is with double. Double the size, double the height, etc. of. The cottage is double the size of the size of the house. In example C, we have a gradual comparisons with an, uh, w when one property is increasing or decreasing gradually. It, it is two identical comparative structures. The prices went higher and higher. In Spanish we would use cada vez más. Yeah? In example D we have a equal or equivalent to. The power of the engine is equal or equivalent to that of the Concorde. In example E we use most of the meaning the majority of. Most of the information comes from GE. In F, we have a, another typical expression, the most commonly or the most widely used. PowerPoint is the most widely or commonly used program here. We can use also the expressions with such. This is such an important thing that we cannot forget it. This is a typical expression. And remember, lastly, that you can also use more uh, compar these comparative structures with adverbs. She works more easily without computers. Normally uh, an adverb would be a longer um, word, so we use more um, rather than here. Here we have a summary of the most typical comparison and contrast structures we have seen uh, throughout this learning object. You can have a look at, at them and you, you have the um, examples for them during the presentation. And as a conclusion, it is very important to use the right expressions in English. We have five possibilities of including the aspect we are comparing as regards, regarding, etc. And last, you have to use the specific English expressions rather than translating from your own language, which is always very dangerous. So thank you very much for your attention and I hope that was useful. Thank you.